Welcome back. Girls tournament action continues tonight as we move to district competition for the ladies. We have a D4 doubleheader over at Sydney High School. Game one features the number seven seeded Rushi Raiders taking on the three seeded Covington Lady Bucks. Raiders coming off a 22 point victory looking for an upset. First quarter, Celeste Borchers is going to find Ronnie Poli who goes off glass for the two of her 11 points on the game. Rushi up 9 4. Next time on defense, Rushi's Borchers with the steal and she takes it coast to coast for the lay in. Lead push to seven. Later in the quarter, Rushi stretching the floor as Borchers nails the corner three, now 14-8. In the second quarter, Addison Chappie gets it to Hazel Francis, who takes her defender baseline and hits a turnaround jumper. Game high 16 for her. Rushi up eight. Late second, Bucks try to save it. However, Francis there, and she gets it to Poling, who banks it in. Raiders pull off the upset, winning 50-35 to and advance to the final on Monday in Troy. Game two, a Southwest 3-D4 matchup with the number one seeded Fort Lormie Redskins and the 12 seeded Lehman Catholic Cavaliers. Redskins coming off an impressive 74-13 win. First quarter, Redskins up five when Taylor Geis is going to splash in the deep three. However, Fort Lormie would take over from there. Later in the quarter, a give and go from Avery Brandewee to Summer Hoying back to Brandewee, who hits the hoop and the harm 11-3 after the free throw. Lormy now up nine using their press to perfection as Skylar Elbers gets the steal and takes it to the hole for the two. Now 14 three skins. Now up 14 when Jaden Rose finds Alex Rose over to Brandewee who pulls up and sinks the baseline jumper. Lead it 19 three. Under a minute in the quarter when Ariel Heitkamp finds a wide open Maddie Chateau who hits the corner triple. Redskins win 61 12 and advance to the district final next Monday in Troy.